So I posted a video about Instagram on here that I was at 15,000 followers and I gained about 10,000 in like a couple of months. It was crazy. Look at this now. I am at 55,000 followers. These are genuine followers. These are people who are actually interested in my content and are engaging in every single post. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the recent changes for Instagram when it comes to photography with the 9 by 16 ratio, which is really interesting. We're going to be talking about growing your brand on Instagram and the power of having a really big following and helping your business grow. And then we're also going to be talking about the export settings that I do for my reels, which is highly requested across the platforms. And I can't wait to get into this video. So let's get into it. Hey, what's going on my friends? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. My name is Jason. If you're new to my channel, I do a whole bunch of tips, tricks, tutorials on filmmaking and photography. But today we're gonna to be talking about Instagram. Now, Instagram is still relevant when it comes to photography and video, obviously, because it used to be predominantly a photo sharing app. Now it's a lot of videos and reels. Uh, but when Adam Missouri was actually announcing the 16 by nine ratio in photography, I think this is going to kick photography back off again. I actually personally think that uh, 16 by nine is a fantastic ratio. Now bear with me, Instagram started off with a one by one ratio. Then eventually they started getting into the four by five ratio, which is slightly taller and it's great for portrait stuff. Now, when it came to four by five, sometimes when you do a full body portrait, you're almost cutting off the feet or cutting off the head. It's just a really interesting and not so pleasant aspect ratio when it comes to full body portraits. Now a 16 by nine will actually cover the full body quite well and I'm actually quite happy about that. And don't forget, when Instagram first came out, we had like iPhone 4s and iPhone 5s. They were more of a square sort of format when it came to the screen size. Now the screen sizes are much taller and much larger in the iPhone 13s now. And it definitely suits the 16 by nine ratio because it immerses you in the content more because it fills the screen more. But for landscape photographers, this obviously is not going to be a good thing. Four by five was bearable. It was just enough. Sometimes you would have to crop in and put your 16 by nine photo or three by two photo within. Obviously that's not the greatest. You could actually do the carousel version, which you could have two four by five ratios stuck together and you've got this, you know, swipe across landscape. Now it's 16 by nine. But in saying that also, this is Steph Vela. She is from Sydney in Australia and she's a landscape photographer and you can see the photos here. They look absolutely aesthetically pleasing on this platform. So you really just need to pivot and adapt your style when it comes to landscape photography. But when it comes to portrait photographers, I do feel like this is probably a good thing. The reason why Adam Missouri wanted this is because Reels is nine by 16 now. It fills our whole screen. And when it comes to uh, photography, we wanna do the same thing. So you can see my video will fill the whole screen. You can see here, this is my four by five aspect ratio. A 16 by nine would probably actually fit my camera directly in there, but it will fill the screen more and give it more of an immersive sort of uh, vibe. It, it'll immerse you into the content and uh, obviously their goal is for you to stay on the platform longer. Now there is a massive thing of why you should be doing Instagram content now and that comes to marketing yourself and growing your brand. Now when it comes to branding, what are the benefits of obviously trying to build your brand? So essentially you're marketing yourself as a business and trying to grow that business through obviously having customers and that's essentially how you grow a brand and how you grow a business. So if you do have more traffic on your page, essentially you can point them towards your website if your website has your show riddle on there or your professional work, a lot of your clients can actually see that and essentially hire you for particular gigs. Now also, if you have more views on your website, you could be selling merchandise, you could be selling LUTs, you could be selling a whole bunch of things that a lot of people could be purchasing, which is gonna help you generate more money for your business, put food on the table, pay your bills. That is obviously going to help all through social media marketing. So it really comes down to that overall increasing your visibility on social media, which is going to increase your brand's recognition. So that is very important to try and get your brand out there or yourself, however you wanna call it. This is a very important and very powerful tool when it comes to Instagram marketing. 
So how the hell do you grow in 2022 on Instagram? There's a few different key factors to actually make you grow. You obviously have to invest in time into making reels. Now you don't have to dance around like TikToks or anything. You don't have to do all the fad stuff, but you do actually have to make engaging reels to try and hook you in in the first two to three seconds. Beat drop videos are really good. They're very easy to make. But if you are a photographer, you can show a video of you taking the photo and then you can show the actual results straight after with a bit of a beat drop. Uh, these are very, very common and they actually look quite nice. Unfortunately, they're not original, but sometimes you do actually have to follow the trend to try and grow on the platform, then when you've got enough subscribers, enough followers, you can sort of form your own content from there. You still need to stay as genuine as possible though. So with a lot of my content, I try and make reels about gear and generally I'm standing in front of the camera, they're like 15 to 20 second almost reviews or an overview. You know, this is my FX6. This is the lens I've got on it. This is the map box I've got on it. This is the V-mount battery. It shows you what kind of gear I'm actually using. And yeah, obviously let's talk about these export settings. I know a lot of people have been asking about this. It is very simple. All I do is have a 1080 by 1920 timeline, just a nine by 16 ratio. I will film in 4K, so I'll film with my portrait mode when it comes to my camera, so I get the most resolution out of the sensor. I drop it directly into my timeline and it fits almost perfectly. It is that simple. All I do when it comes to export, it is simple again, match source at adaptive high bitrate. And that is pretty much it because Instagram is going to compress the hell out of the footage if you're going to be exporting in a 4K image. That's why I export in 1080p because I feel like it is just enough. But this is completely anecdotal results. This is what works for me and it might not necessarily work for you, but these are pretty much my export settings. It is so simple. Just don't overcomplicate things, make it as easy as possible, create the content, as consistently as possible. Now, I think the biggest tip on Instagram is consistency. I posted two reels a day for almost two and a half months straight. Two reels a day. Sometimes if it wasn't a reel, it was a carousel of photos from like a gig that I just did and I had some awesome BTS photos. So I'd share that instead. But I absolutely knuckled down and posted two reels a day in two and a half months. And you know, in almost two and a half months later, I have 55,000 followers from 15,000 from that last video I did in late February. And the biggest thing is you're going to have to get noticed in the Instagram algorithm. So people have to be engaging, people have to like your stuff, people have to share your stuff, people have to save your things. All these kind of things help the algorithm to tell obviously the Instagram algorithm that you're a worthy channel of views and it's gonna be pushing it to more people. So you really just have to stick in there, grind it out and create the best quality content you can in your niche. So if you aren't on my Instagram already, I absolutely do recommend go on there because I do share a lot of daily updates. That's where I share a lot of my professional work in my reels, in my stories. I will be doing as much as possible on Instagram to do my daily updates. Whereas these ones are long form content. This is to try and give you as much information as possible. You know, Instagram is very short content, so it's not giving you the best quality of content, but it is still giving you uh, updates and content that could be showing for you guys on YouTube, which is great, right? It's a plus plus. You can see what's coming in the future videos. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That'd be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't. And uh, yeah, I really hope to see you guys there because I do post a lot of updates on Instagram predominantly. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.